Okay, welcome to our third episode of our podcast. Today's the first day of spring. Ooh. It's March 20th. Yay! Yay. <laughs> uh, no more cold. Well, it's still cold here, actually. It's what? It's supposed to go up to like 52, 53. And then at nights it's like 30s. Freezing. So that's your weather update. <laughs> <laughs> but at least there's no rain. We've been having a lot of rain uh, for the last month and a half, it seems. You know, I saw a snowflake in the forecast. When? Like next week or something. It's just a, it'll change, but there's a snowflake on there. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. No. Can't even put out my plants. I know. But anyway, we're a knitting make everything podcast. Um, we crochet, we do mixed media art and everything. So, and I guess we should introduce ourselves. My name is Stacy, and I'm Tracy, and we're coming to you from outside of Charlotte, North Carolina area. And you can find me on Instagram at Trini Girl underscore Makes on Instagram, and then on Ravelry it's Trini dash Girl, and I'll. You know, in case you can't understand what I'm saying, I'll flash it across the screen so that you, you know, have the correct spelling. And you can find me on Instagram and on Ravelry at Second Sister Knits. So that's 2ND Sister S I S T A Knits. Okay, so we'll jump right in into finished objects. And we're both wearing a finished object. This is my Birds and Ships by Caitlin Hunter, knit out of the. Um, Farmer's Daughter, Foxy Lady. It's one of her club colorways. And the color is bad. <laughs> bad with like five, eight, four, I think, yeah, four A's in between. And um, it's 70% merino superwash and 30% silk. And I made the tassels. And yeah, that's, I like how snug it is. Mm -hmm. um, and I like the lace effect. And it's perfect for the, the weather spring now. weather. Yeah. Yeah. The color is perfect too yeah. for spring. Yeah, I like the tassel. I like Really? I, and I like the lace. Yes. Yeah. I did mess up on it, like my stitch count at the end. I forgot to do a decrease. And so I had to just improvise at the end. Whatever. It's it looks fine. great. I can't even tell. It's behind here. <laughs> <laughs> So you can't really see it. So anyway, so that's one of my finished objects. Um, I have another one, but you can go next. Oh yeah, my finished object, I'm wearing it. Um, the No Frills sweater. Um, I love it. It just, um, excuse me, my chair noise. And uh, can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm knitting nice. in a size medium. And, uh, um, Okay, I feel like I'm in between sizes mm -hmm. because um, I am for sure. Yeah, are yeah. you? Yeah, because up here you it's a size. I feel like I need I like the room to move. I don't like anything constricted. Uh -huh. So it's like it has to be a size medium. But everywhere else, it's like it feels loosey right it feels at the waist. Loosey goosey. Yeah. yeah, it feels too much. It feels too bulky, and it's like I don't like that fit. So I need to learn. I think it looks fine on her because she's really slim. <laughs> on me, I think that things need to fit a little bit mm. snugger. Not See? too tight, but just not too... Loosey because then you look extra big. Yeah, right? that's how I feel right now. I feel extra big. But this was knit in um, barnyard uh, fiber, uh, merino, nylon, fingering weight. And then the color is fantasy. And I paired it with um, Debbie Bliss Angel Mohair in the color charcoal. And I use a size 7 needle. And uh, it came out really nice. Yeah. I did mess up a little on the um, sleeves because I did not estimate how long mm -hmm. it would go. So um, I need to fix the sleeve, make it a little shorter and a little bit more narrow. I think it's fine. You think it's fine? Yeah. But I don't think that's ever going to happen because once I'm done, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. It goes back. It goes back. It don't. So right under the whole new sweater. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, we match. Yeah. Like, you know, darker purplish. Yeah. yeah. And my gray. You know, I love my gray. <laughs> so the gray and purple. But anyway, it's finally done and it's perfect for this weather because I could just wear it today with no jacket and I feel very comfortable. Yeah. So. Let me fix my chair. Okay. Is it in the way? Yeah, it would just feel like, I don't know, just feel like, I don't know. So, anyway, so, um, that's the next my finished object. Yep, any more? No, that's it. 
Okay. The next one I have, um, I gave it as a gift to my mom. Um, it's the hipster shawl, and it was in that um, Barocco. I showed it in the previous podcast. Um, it's in Barocco vintage color 5151 Cardinal. And I'll flash a picture here of this one here posing with it. Uh, I guess she loves it. She said she did. But, you know, it's moms nice. still say they love it. Then you give them. So, <laughs> <laughs> but all right, you do that with the kids' artwork, and they give it to you. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I love it. And then you're like, oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. That's so, funny. That's all I have as far as I feel like. Ever since we started this podcast, my knitting has decreased. <laughs> and that's so unusual. Yeah, I usually have like a thousand her. things going. So. She's she has cast on itis all, all the time. The time. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I just want to fin- I want to finish things for the podcast. I think that's what it is. So I don't want to cast on a bunch of things mm. and then don't you know don't have anything. Show as finished at you know once a month at least. So that's why I've been trying to focus on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so works in progress. Do you have? Yeah, I do. So, uh, you know, I like cast it on Birkin. I want to cast on the exact ah, same sweater in the exact same color. You should. Let's twin. Come on. You should. I love that green. It's perfect. So, Birkin, I um, I got through the color work, which is the most important part, if you ask me. Everything else is going to be smooth and sailing and easy. Easy peasy. So nice. So, I, uh, I got to the sleeves right here. Can you see it? Is it? Can you see it? Yeah, so I got to the sleeves and um, I don't know if I mentioned it last time I was at uh, the last podcast, what I, the colors I used, but uh, this is Barrico Ultra Wool Fine and the green is uh, Rosemary and then the same um, Barrico Ultra Wool Fine and this is Frost, which is some of a gray color. Yeah, it's like a gray. Yeah, so. Um, if I do this, I would do this screen. Yeah. But then I'll look for something that's very gated gray white Ooh. cream, you know? Ooh. And um that would be nice. Yeah. So, so it would be a little different from hers a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so I enjoy knitting this. It's easy and um it's fun. My only issue was and it's me, it's user, right? Me, is that I kept making errors. Um when doing the color work right and if you're one stitch off right because i told her to use stitch markers for every she did block of color work right so if there's 12 stitches in each you know color i don't know words are eluding me right now block yeah yeah 12 stitches if it repeats every 12 then you should have a stitch marker to separate each 12 so that way you don't have to think about it you just knit, knit, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, because if you not if you can't see the color below, you can't see the pattern right away. Yeah. Right. It's <laughs> you're gonna mess it up, right? And I swear, how many times? You let's have say to. Ninety percent of the time, I was on ripping a row to yeah. go back, and a lot of the a lot of the errors I made was at the start of the row. Yeah. So it's like it was so frustrating. No. But when I did uh, the color work, I never had that issue. So that's why I yeah. didn't think anything of it. No, when you're doing color work, so what is easy or not, just use those stitch markers to delineate um, each round. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't do that and I totally forgot. So I said, okay. And I, you know, went about my day and I totally forgot to do it. But then, but anyway, but then this is where I got up to. So I'm hoping to have this done by the next podcast. Hoping. If it's I beautiful. don't, I love it. Please don't kill me. Love it, love it, love it. But then I did, I'm working on Tecumseh as well, and um, I think it was it last weekend, and I ran into the same issue. And I didn't run into the issue with the color work, making the stitch errors, but then last weekend I ran into it, and she was like, well, did you use the your stitch, stitch markers? markers? And I'm like, no. Not for the crosses. I mean, the Tecumseh, it's, that's easy to it's see, the shields. but it's the, sh- the shields. Yeah. I, I would use the stitch markers. Like, you have to, to make yeah. it just easier yeah. on you. I did. So I did use a stitch marker on the shields and um, uh, I think I made one error and I had to undo it because there was that extra loop on there for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, um, I'll show it to come in a minute. You want to show a works in progress? Sure. Um, 
So I'm working on the Garter Snake Cow by Lavanya. Oh my gosh, she got so far. Nothing is a lot of knitting. I, I, I thought I was going to be done like today, you know, or tomorrow. I mean, some, but when I looked further into directions, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not that fast of a knitter. And that's not going to be done. Maybe for next week. <laughs> I saw her on Sunday and it was like down to here. Yeah. Because yeah. this is the only thing I'm knitting on. Oh. And so it's... um. The dark color is the graphite hedgehog fiber sock. And then that variegated color is levitate by spun right round and sock. Oh my God. Brioche and then stunning the colors. I like it. I like it's dark with the the light gray and then it pops yeah. of green. At first I wasn't liking it. I kept oh, wanting no. to frog it. Mm -hmm. It looks oh it's such fun. Oh no, it's nice. It looks really nice. That is. And that's brioche. Brioche. I love brioche because it's so rhythmic. Rhythmic. I know. Uh, yeah. And this, this is just knit. Very nice. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. Um, you want to go with your to come so? Yes. Oh, because I'm knitting two sweaters. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have a, you know, because I'm crazy. I am um, kind of slowing in my knitting. So slow. I mean, look at this. She almost has two halfway done sweaters. Almost. Yeah. So here's the thing, right? So I like the colors. I love the colors. Okay. So this is um, this is knit in um. Manline Tosh, uh, the HT High Twist DK. High Twist DK, and the white is um, Farmhouse White, and the green is called Grasshopper, and then the shields are knitted in um, Magpie Fibers Swanky DK, and the color is Empty Night, and I love it. Right? Yeah, it's nice. I like it. But I love it. user error, I don't know. She doesn't have this problem, but I think I was trying not to pull hard at all, and I feel like it's pulling right here. In the color work oh so one of the things we've been doing is i'm um, trying to hold the yarn in both hands each strand on both hands to avoid um twisting the yarn while right. you're knitting always having to constantly deal with that right and then also it makes it less um it makes it more even the knitting right right and so we um it's very pink knits and she has a tutorial on stranded knitting you know with the two colors mm -hmm. so i do suggest you check it out i'll put a link in the um, description, in the notes, so you can. Yeah, so I tried it, but I still, I don't know, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe, I mean, when you block it out, I don't know. I'm hoping it yeah. just comes out smooth, because I look at other people's pictures on Instagram. It's so smooth, and right? It's so smooth, and mine doesn't, so I'm like, you know what? Is it the yarn? Is it me? I haven't, we haven't, I, I don't think you have, and I definitely have not knit a bunch of color work. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna take some, um, Practice. I saw this on Instagram. This guy, he um, practiced. He did a whole project, like a hat or something, using with color work, as a tr to try it, to make sure that he can get his tension right. I'm mm -hmm. like, I am not that serious. <laughs> I, I, I mean, and then he frogs it to yeah, a whole hat. I'm like, why won't he wear it or keep it or whatever? Because his stitches is not. All right. Or, you know, the tension, right? He's trying to figure out. And I I know this has tension issues in the color work. Mine but does. I am not on doing this thing. No, <laughs> There's no. no way. I'm going to wear it and love it. Yeah. That's <laughs> um, the point of knitting, isn't it? To be enjoying it and just, yeah. you know, be worrying about your tension. And it's like, what if your tension is one way and then yeah. it's another? Uh-uh. That's just too much. I mean, that's good. I mean, he's a perfectionist and that's yeah, yeah, yeah. good. But For those people, yeah. Man, I don't have that much patience. I really don't. So here's mine, and I'm done with the body. Are stunning together, beautiful, just beautiful. Anyway, so this is um, weathered. The brown is the weathered frame um, by Madeline Tosh DK Twist, and then the pink is the Scout, and then this is um, paper. The cream, sorry, cream is paper. Pink is Scout. This is weathered. Frame. And um, silly me, cut, um, didn't look at the correct yardage um, in the pattern, and I 
looked at the meters instead and I didn't order enough yarn. So I had to request a special order from Mad Tosh um, because they stopped making this color. And um, I saw that they shipped it like two days ago. Oh, so okay. yeah, any day now by Saturday. Yeah. So then um, I'll finish these sleeves using the helix method with the current yarn I have. So that way there isn't like a disparity, yeah. you know, with the colors. Yeah. And... So anyway, um, it's kind of big. I feel like I could have done a small because it fits up here fine yeah like she says but down here it's i big. feel and that's like my weekender i don't like things around my waist to be too wide because then i feel bulky bigger than yeah, what i am we want to feel slim right <laughs> yeah <laughs> it feels help. bulky i think yeah but you don't yeah. want your sweater tight fitting either the other thing i think i do because these sweaters that's not pieced you know they're knitting around um I think for the next sweater I do, I'm going to see if I can put in a fake seam with, um, per, you know, doing those pearl ridges going down um, to give it some sort of distinction between the front and the back. Like a small It's a fake seam, yeah, yeah. To make it more structured. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think the next sweater I knit, I'm going to also try, especially at Kate Run Hunters, I'll probably do a small yeah that's what i'm thinking too yeah. now white horse i did and i did a medium and that fits perfect perfect yeah but like this i think i could have a small but i'm still wearing lots of love and happiness <laughs> <laughs> that's how i feel yeah we don't discriminate here <laughs> i wear it i don't care and it's like if you if cold them once chances are you have a mainly have a jacket on over it and yeah it's like it's not like I'm wearing it to an it's office cool. or something, right? Yeah, I'm just wearing it to run to Target. <laughs> yeah, I'll just wear something long. I think that what will help is if you wear something long, like a long shirt or mm. something underneath it, mm -hmm. so that way. A nice denim shirt underneath that. It helps bring it in a little bit, yeah. so it is not so wide and floppy all over the place. No, yeah. I just don't like that transition unless yeah. you're super slim. Like I don't like for it. To... Yeah, I hope I'm explaining myself, but anyway. Um, do you have any more questions? No, questions? that's the two things. I My other sweater, Booth Bay, it's been um, on hold because I've been focusing on those two. And uh, that's it. I haven't made any progress. I haven't picked it up since in a month. And that's terrible. Okay. So I'm working on this um, crocheted baby blanket. Well, I don't know if it's a baby blanket, but crochet blanket for my nephew. Um, who will be one year old in May and um, I figure he my, Tracy made something that was smaller but I think he would need something a little bigger as he gets older um, as a toddler so I'm making this hair mm -hmm. very nice I haven't crocheted in many 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 years <laughs> uh, probably since 90, um, 2009 or 8 something like that and this is called the feathered chevron blanket. Um, it's a free pattern. Um, on Ravelry? Or? Yeah, it's on Ravelry. Well, the link to her website is oh, on Ravelry. Okay. And then it's free. But you can also purchase the pattern. Um, but it'll just be in a, like an organized PDF format um, as opposed to somebody's notes. Um, so I'm using from Hobby Lobby, the Baby Bee Sweet Delight. And this is airplane hmm. glare. <laughs> Sorry. And then um, the variegated color I'm using tricycle time. Do you hear the birds? It's so nice. Oh, it's spring. Can you guys hear the word? Maybe you can't. And I'm using a USI nine. 5.50 millimeter Susan Bates needle back when we weren't bougie to buy, <laughs> um, you know, name brand needles. I like but. the needle with the um the, wood, the bamboo on the end. Really? Yeah. I find those too bulky. Hurt my hands. I like really? the Susan Bates one. Oh my gosh. I, I bought like some it. liquor crochet hooks though to Did try. You? Yeah, I want to see because I like, I like their liquor. I like, yeah. So I want to try. I can't wait. Ah. And then the other... 
Oh, well, that's non knitting related works in progress. So, mm-hmm. uh, um, that's it as far as works in progress for um, knitting. For knitting. Um, what I'm going to cast on next, probably within the week or two, um, I ordered some yarn from Quince Co., the Iron Weight in Honey, for the Ramona Cardigan by Elizabeth Smith. Um, my sister's friend, between the between the sti- these stitches, mm-hmm. I believe she's on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And uh, my sister, Lisa, was like, you and her need to meet because you guys are like exactly alike. I mean, with all the crafts and the photography and just everything. So I was like, okay. So we, I started following her and she and I have been conversing on Instagram. And she said she was going to knit this Ramona cardigan. And I was like, oh, that's on my list to knit on my queue. And she's like, why don't we knit it together? Because, you know, it helps when, you know, we do it together, push each other sure. along. I'm like, okay. I'm like, Tracy, you want to jump in? And of course she does. <laughs> This is not to this knitting. Not to knitting. Come on. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna do that, and um, so that's coming. And I plan to also cast on another sweater at the same time because in osprey, uh, that's an iron weight. It's gonna go fast. Um, so I plan to cast on socks. I, I think I cast it on one. It's just like I didn't bring it because it's just like the ridge, you know, the mm-hmm. cuffs. Mm-hmm. So I didn't bother bringing it. And um, I'll bring it next time, but. The other sweater I'm going to cast on is Ingles by Caitlin Hunter or Recoletta by Hohi Locatelli. So I have to choose between those two. Um, you need to do Ingles. You've been talking about Ingles for the longest. I love those two sweaters. And yeah. And the other thing I plan to shawl wise, I think I need to slow down on the shawl knitting though. I have so many. But I can't stop. I love it because there's no gauge required yes. and fit. And yes. then you can just have fun knit, knit, yes. knit. And you know, it's portable. Whatever. It's portable. And so on my Make 9 list, I have the Vertices Unite by Stephen West. And I've been, ask her, I've been looking at colors um, all week. She keeps sending me texts of, what about this? What about that? I'm like, you're confusing me. Because I know. I'm like, I tell you I like this one. And she sends me more. What about this one? And I'm like, they're all nice. I know. Go back to the other one. And then she's like, well, what about this one? And I'm like, you're confusing me. I know. <laughs> So I'm thinking, as um, there's five colors in there, and I'm thinking The Antler by Madeleine Tosh. Um, these two I, is her chalk sock. I think you've seen it from a previous podcast. Um, I don't know the colors. They're in there, but I don't want to take it out. And then the whole thing comes apart, you know, the yeah. spool. Yeah. Um, and then this is from Lolo Did It. I like it. This blue. And then this porter from Madeline Tosh. You want to grab underneath? So here we go. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that looks good there. I told you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told you. Want. Okay. Yeah, well, so that's what I'm thinking. The other option? Yeah. The darker pink. So I was thinking. Oh, gee. Gee. Hedgehog. Just look at this. It's a hot mess. Okay. Hedgehog is great though. It is, but man, it just comes apart. Anyway, I was thinking that too. So I don't know. See how she confuses me? I like, like them both. both. <laughs> I like them both. Yeah. This one gives you the pop. Yeah. With this color. It gives you the pop. The other yeah. one is more muted, very tonal, yeah. right? Yeah. So what are you going for? Pop? I don't know. Or tonal? I tend to like... Okay, so what I've been admiring on Ravelry are the ones that are more muted. I noticed. Okay. You know, like the mauves, the creams, yeah. the grays, yeah. the blue, you know, like yeah. that. Yeah. So I don't like the things where it's all busy and just, yeah. I kind of, I don't like That's them. not me. I don't I like, like color, but I don't like color that much. Yeah. I mean, I like the idea of knitting it. It's fun, but I just, when it comes to pulling it out and wearing it, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't yeah, wear it. You wouldn't go for it. So anyway, that's all how yeah. my fancy uh, finish. I keep saying I want to get one of those <laughs> and I've yet to get one. And um, I probably shouldn't even bother showing you this, but um, on the making magazine number five, there's a drawstring bag, wildflower project bag, which I'm in love with. Okay. And um, I got this 
canvas fabric and I drew the flowers on there. <laughs> I just got to take by hand or you did a stamp? By hand. Nice. Ooh, the um, white out here. So anyway, um, I just have to do the embroidery and get a lining fabric. I want to do and embroidery. Um, I want to I wanna go to baskets of yarn and get Liberty fabric of just a quarter yard. It'll when be super going? expensive when because when we go, <laughs> <laughs> we should go today. They're having a sale. Oh, and then um, it's I made a bag, guys. She did. Isn't it cute? I love the colors together. It's kind of washing out because of the anyway. You can see it's it so there. bright. Yeah, it's bright. It's like clear blue skies. Um, and then show the inside. Oh yeah, yeah. It's little yarn balls. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. It's the knot bag by Indigo. I'll put it in the description. But yeah, it's cute. And I love flowers. I, don't, I, yeah. I, I can have flowers all over my house and I'll be happy. <laughs> I know. I got a pin that says plant lady. I should have gotten one for her too. <laughs> flower. I just love floral fabrics, floral pictures, floral everything. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, uh, my next project that I want to cast on is the Ramona, obviously. But I haven't decided on the yarn yet. I have till April 1st to decide because I need to hurry up and get it. Tracy's fancy glasses. I love this. I want one. I have a set. But I'm like, I don't want to be copying her. But man, these are some nice glasses. <laughs> How it curves. Anyway. Yeah, it's very modern, right? <laughs> it's just different. I love it. Um, yeah, so I want to cast on Ramona, but I need to decide on the yarn. And I'm bantering between um, quince or, or wool. Um, I'm leaning towards quince because I like their colors, but I don't know what color to get. I tend to go towards grays and I'm trying to be different. So I tend to go towards Challenge. Grays, grays or the neutral colors like taupes and because if you look around my house, it's all natural colors, grays, <laughs> natural colors. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um. I'm trying to decide on what color to get. So it's like, should I go out of my comfort zone and get a burgundy mm -hmm. or get, you know, a coral color? Look, even this color. I would never like pick this color, I but I'm like, it looks hey. pretty on her, right? <laughs> I like it on, but yeah. I just bought it because it was on sale. <laughs> I'm like, that's different. Like <laughs> when we were living together uh, in uh, New Jersey every weekend. <laughs> to the mall. Perusing. Sale. Sale. <laughs> sale <laughs> that's the best way to shop because when you have to buy stuff you need when you need it it's yeah. full price yeah if you go stay in the mall <laughs> i can't tell i can't sell that idea to my husband <laughs> <laughs> i know they're looking it's like y'all are banned from hanging out <laughs> yeah so i want to need to decide on the yarn so once i get that squared away i can go ahead and um, i'll get that hopefully i'll have that to show at the next podcast and then uh like i need another shawl um <laughs> I'm trying to decide on colors because I have yarn, you know, little piece, little, you know, skeins here or there. So I want to, we keep, we've been talking about doing Vertices United for the longest, Forever. right? Years. So I'm trying to, um, I'm going on vacation in June. So I'm thinking of uh, taking that with me on a pair of socks. So, uh, so far I have these and then maybe getting farmhouse white. So I need two more colors, right? Yeah. Um, I'd say a pink. That's in between, like lighter than that, maybe? right? And then um, a, a gray, like a green, a light green. Oh, you can do gray too. Yeah, a light green. Yeah. But anyway, this is um, Madeline Tosh. Because look, this has spec. This is by Blackberry Ridge, by the way. Yeah. And then you see the green in there. So yeah. And then this is um, I love this color. This is Madeline Tosh it's Place for Con. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm one. I just. I love it. And then this obviously is farmhouse white. And then I'm um, just going to get two more colors. So I have a couple months to decide on that and then I can get started on that. So that's that. And then uh, I need to find a sock. I don't have anything lined up yet. I have like, yeah, I have a ton of socks to knit. Do you? I haven't knit no sock for the new year yet. I started one that I had, but I haven't finished it yet. Mm. I need to finish, finish it. it. Finish it. Finish it. I've been, my focus has been these sweaters and I need to, I think once I get my needles clean, I need to cast on a couple pairs of socks. But uh, I have vacation plans this summer and so I plan to cast on several pairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, a portable. 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 Yeah, nice. Yeah. Portable. But I love carrying my bags, you know, my 
my plisters bag and my oh, town bag. We did some plister. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys when it comes in. I got the backpack and I can't wait to show you. Yeah, I love her bags. Yeah. Usually with most people, I only want one of their bags, but with her, I want oh. all of their bags. Yeah, but I wanted to get it because it's a backpack and um, you can carry several projects in it and it's something. And your laptop. And it comes with a pouch. It was a yeah. good price, right? A backpack and a pouch inside. Yeah. And then you can good carry price. your wallet in there and it's just yeah. like you could throw everything in there and put it mm -hmm. on your back and go run through the airport with yeah. it, right? Yeah. And um, not have to carry multiple bags. And that's why I like it. So I said, I need to get it for traveling. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, so that's what I have. Acquisitions. Um, I have one. Because I wanted to, I saw Hohi with her free, um, oh, before we go there, the other one I wanted to knit was Hohi's Dark Cloud. Oh, that's our dream. Yeah. With that yarn. Woolfolk. Is it Woolfolk? Yes. Yeah. Luft. Luft. That is buy two every month until you have all of them. Probably next it's year. It's like $30, $35. Or it's pretty expensive. Or $39, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. But it, it's, it's pretty expensive. I mean, you need... But I can't imagine not knitting that sweater with anything, anything else. No. Unfortunately. I want it. I want it. I want it. So, um, oh, so I want to knit the Odyssey shawl. Well, it's not a priority. And my brain, as crazy as it is, is already thinking of taking one of these and knitting that, this color work cow. I forget the name of it. But anyway, um. Oh, I love it. Odyssey. This is Madeline Tosh, DK Twist and Fog. Aura. And then what's this one? Moon Glow. Can't see? Oh, yeah, Moon look at glow. that. It's perfect, right? Yeah. Gorgeous. Anyway, um, let's hope it makes it to the show and not to some other project. <laughs> We're purposing. <laughs> Yeah, but I love that Odyssey shawl. Mm. I can see it. Since I knit the hipster, I don't know if I want to knit it again anytime soon. Mm. Two times. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if I want to knit it again anytime soon. So mm. I think the Odyssey would be, mm. It'd be perfect. It's kind of yeah. similar, right? Yeah, it, yeah. Is. it is. So I want to do that too. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, too. Yeah. But I probably will wait till later in the summer to do that. Yeah. Because yeah. if I want to do vertices. But I love a DK shawl, people. That's where, like, when I wear my DK shawl, um, there's a whole he one that I knitted. I'll have to show it next time or oh, sometime. Um, when I put it on, you just feel, like, so good. Like, it feels so warm yeah. and, like, substantial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and I tie it, like, here at the ends, and so it just feels really nice. Yeah. Uh, and that's, my, I have to say, that's my favorite shawl, mm. the DK. Mm. You ever knit a DK shawl? No. Yes, I do actually. It was a pattern by Hohi. Um, it was it um the, the grocery girl sisters. I think it's Jody. I think it was that. Yeah, that's what that's it. That's it's the Jody one I knit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. I like it. I like it a lot. That's the shawl, yeah. and I love it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I like wearing it on really cold days. I pulled that one out. It's like my my friends. Um, my friends see me and they're like, how many? Shawls do you have? And it's just like, uh, I'm not even wearing all of them. <laughs> you know what I want, guys? I want one of those trunks, like a cedar chest, like what Susan B. Anderson has, mm. to put all my knitwear in. Yeah. So then I don't have to worry about critters getting to it, right? Yeah. Not that we have critters, but, no, 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 but you still, never know. You just never know. <laughs> How yeah. one gets in the house when you open the door. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And then my neighbors planted some trees that attracts moths. I'm like, you see, that scares me, moths. That's it, yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, what if they get in the house yeah. and get into my, my closet and my knit, yeah, in my yarn stash? Yeah. I in my mudroom, the door is right there to the garage, and you know you come in and out that yeah. door. That's the main door that we use. Yeah. And um, we have some drawers for each of us, and in my drawers are my knitwear, my scarves, my shawls, and everything. They can come in there. Exactly. <laughs> that's my concern. I'm like, the door is right there. Versus the closet, obviously, you got to go further in. But still, that doesn't say it's not going to get in there. Right, right. So. Okay, 35 minutes. you have anything else? You Like, we can go. Do you have anything else? No. Uh, Making related? I could show you the bags that she made. She cut out. I mean, we um, did it together. Um, I thought this was so cute. 
And look at the inside. She picked this beautiful floral. It's nice. I think it's cute. I love and flowers. I use, uh, um, the, the, the drawstring is, um, what is it again? Uh, I don't know. It's, the, um, the, it's like a ropey kind of thing. Yeah. I think it's so cute. You can buy it at Joann's in the spool. Or whatever. Yeah, it's so cute. See? It's the indigo patterns. I love it. Yeah, it's the so knot cute. bag and the drawstring. So I got some yarn from Michael's to, to, to practice knitting some stuffed animals just for the fun of it. Like I have time. And I put it in here to carry with me. You know, uh, this is the only acquisition I have really. And uh, it's, uh, what is it? Loops and threads. Loops and threads. Threads Joy DK weight. Oh, and glare, glare. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to make a panda with it. Hide this from my niece, Desiree, because if she sees the panda, <laughs> she might come after me. <laughs> and she's a grown person, like 20 something. She's an adult. She loves pandas. By the way, we both each have two kids. I have a daughter. She's like mid 20s. I, don't, I keep track. I don't lose track after a certain age. <laughs> I lose track of my age after a certain age. Um, I know. But and then I have a son. He's like he's eight years old. And he's hilarious. And then she has two girls. I have two girls. One who's going to be eleven in a week. No, less than a week. Yeah, a week. Yeah. Next, next Wednesday, week. she's yeah. going to be eleven, and she's already demanding um, uh, red velvet cake. <laughs> it has to be vegan. Yes. I don't know. Sorry, guys. My phone is dinging. I forgot to put it on silence. But then, um, yeah, and then I have a seven-year-old, a seven-year-old who's, who's um, growing up so fast, you know? They both have their different personalities, but yet so yeah. much alike, you know? Yeah. And we have two other sisters, and um, we all had only two kids each until one broke rank and yeah. got a third. Yeah. <laughs> but he's the cutest. Oh he my goodness. Is. He anyway. is. Did you see that video from uh, she's teaching him to count? Yeah. He's only like 10 months. <laughs> 10 months? He's 10 months old. I think when you're older and you have like babies, you tend to, I don't, I don't even know if appreciate them more, but you tend to be more patient and tolerant and treat it different. Treat the whole thing differently than when you're younger and you have kids. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is. How to describe it. I don't know. I just like. But we have a good, a, a fantastic, but the first one we had an appreciation for too. But this guy, I guess he's the, the only, only baby. baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's the only baby. And it's like, sometimes I find myself, um, I I don't know if you do this, but I do this, my youngest, I baby her sometimes. Oh, I baby my son too. She's always telling me, you baby her too much. And I baby him. But I, you know, this is why you have aunts and uncles to say, to call you out on the stuff you don't see. So I, hopefully she's telling me what I'm doing <laughs> too. I can't help it. It's like, I, mean, I, ugh, I feel bad. I'm a sucker for her son too, you know? Yeah. He, he just got to come and stand there and he just gives me this look. Oh, you know what he told me? What? Can't you all podcast when I'm home? I'm like, for what? That's what Olivia said. <laughs> He's like, so I can jump into, he, he just wants to come in here and be like. Yeah. Oh okay. well, yeah, that's him. I'm like, yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> No. Olivia said, oh, so this summer when we podcast, when you guys podcast, can I be in it? I'm like, okay, maybe oh. if she creates something, she can tell her that's the criteria. She has to create something. Well, she's knitting a hat <laughs> right now. She's going on a trip to D.C. in about a week and a half at her fifth grade class. And uh, she's, you can't, the rule is you can't bring any electronics on the bus. So she's um, uh, taking a knit project and she's going to be knitting a hat. So uh, she might want to say, well, I have a hat. I know she's going to use that as an excuse. Okay, well, that's fine. As long as she has something to show. <laughs> Instead of coming on like, as she does on Instagram, <laughs> you know, does. she's like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> she's taking over my Instagram account. So it's just like, oh boy, this mm -hmm. is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's asking for her own account. And my husband and I feel like, oh, not time yet. Um, Slow your roll. <laughs> It's like training ground, use mine. Yeah, yeah. Let's training see how you ground. handle that yeah, first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> trying to teach you uh, how to yeah. handle that and yeah. then go from there because it's all about civility, appropriateness, and stuff Etiquette. like that. Etiquette. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. not everything respectful. needs to go on social media. Yeah. So, But uh, she is becoming a fun age, though. You know, she's... But then she's not going to want to be around you as she becomes more fun. <laughs> I swear to you, when I go volunteer at the school, I go volunteer at lunch uh, because the school she goes to, 
it's um they don't have they have a cafeteria but it's not a regular like the public school cafeterias right so they order lunch from outside to come in and um they, they, they depend on parent volunteer so i go in and order i mean i'm going to volunteer and um she sees me and she comes and she runs up to me and she's hugging me and it's like none, you wouldn't think she would do that yeah. but she's still doing it whereas my little one i went to like, like she don't see you like oh no oh, way! Stop it! <laughs> she tells me we went. I went to the school a couple of weeks ago to volunteer, and um, I popped in. I knew she was at lunch, and when I was done, so I said, "Let me go pop in and say hi real quick to her at lunch." So I went in, and I just went up to her and I said, "Hey, how you doing?" You know, blah blah blah. And uh, as I was leaving, I wasn't even there maybe a couple seconds to say hi, how you doing? Eat your lunch, just making sure you're doing good. How's your morning? Good. And I was like, okay, I have to go. I love you. Mwah, bye. I didn't kiss her. I just blew a kiss at her and I walked away and I left. And she comes home and she tells, Daddy, Mommy embarrassed me today. <laughs> oh, God. What did she do? She blew kisses at me. <laughs> I, Jeez. I, <laughs> whereas the other one, the bigger one, you yeah. would think she wouldn't want to be bothered. Right, right, right. Well, anyway. I'm like, she's more independent. She is. One. She is. And, I, and the more I baby her, the more she wants to be independent. Yeah, and the other is. one, I feel she's independent and she wants to be The baby. older one is going to be living here forever. <laughs> She'd be like, college is home college. <laughs> Online classes. <laughs> she's not going anywhere. Oh, my gosh. The other one, as soon as she turned 18, she's, she's out of here. Out of here. She tells my, The older one tells my husband, she's like, wherever you guys go on vacation, I'm going to track you all down, and I'll find a plane, and I'll come to y'all. Yep. I'm like, oh boy. Third, third wheel. I'm like, Stacy, you're right. <laughs> anyway. But anyway, here's another bag. Oh my God, I digress. Sorry. Um, here's another bag. That's the large. That's uh, she, we made together. We um, she cut it out, and uh, I cut it out, and she sewed it right. And it's the knot bag, the large of hers. I love the fabric. I thought it was so cute. It was pretty. And the inside, it's like what polka dots? Yeah, pink with white polka dots. Very mm -hmm. thin. And she was so. My sister was so kind to me. She put pockets inside of it for me. That wasn't the pattern. It was. Oh, I thought <laughs> you did it on your own. I know. So these are the pockets right here. Can you see it? Am I doing a good, a bad job of showing it? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. There's pockets with needles and stuff. That's pretty cool. It's so cute. So, you know, I love it. I'm thinking I might have to put a project in there just because you know. I know. I, like, I want to use it just to use it. Hanging on my door. I need to admiring it. Uh, yes. So. All right. So um, let's quickly um, any favorites you want to show? favorites in terms of the um the anything orange. you want to share like besides um coffee. you know guys since i'm getting older and i've been craving cake and i, <laughs> I try not to mm -hmm. have I, I i'm not a sweet person anymore i used to be and i've been like cutting back sugar a lot i mean a lot and um i sweeten my stuff with dates and stuff like that where i can but there's this cake on um feasting with fruit blogger that i follow on instagram and uh she made this peanut butter cake it's gluten free and obviously it's dairy free because I don't do dairy and um, I want to make it, but I don't know who will eat it besides me. Me. I'll take a piece. Can you see it? Minus the glare. Oh man. Sorry guys. I'm sorry. But anyway, I'll post, take a snip, snap of it and then a screen print and yeah. then I can post Put it on there. Okay. It's a cake that I just want to make. It looks so young. I don't know. The older I get, the more I love cake. I, I'm not really a pie person. I'm a cake. Yeah, person. me too. I'm not a pie. Pies are not bad. Don't get me wrong. Pies are delicious, but I want cake. That's what I've been feeding on, eyeballing it for the last two weeks. And um, make uh, it already. Yeah, but I need to get serious and start buckling down and buying some some stuff for vacation. Soon, oh yeah, so. yeah. That's where my focus is going to turn to between that and knitting. Yeah. So, what about you? So, I have like three things quickly because we're 45 minutes. Ooh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, my sister, who is all into makeup, um, she recommended the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And let me tell you guys, the stuff. Is it good? Usually, I have to reapply my brow because I have thin yeah. brows. Usually, I have to reapply like by the end of the day. Really? You know? And this? Not no. at all. Is it good? No, it's. It works. It looks phenomenal on you. It works. Really? It's nothing is clear. It just somehow sets it. 
So mm. I don't know. <laughs> That's really good. So, and then the other thing, quickly, um, Golden Child by Claire Adams. I read this. And I used to be an avid book reader when I was younger and even in my 20s. But time now I don't have time because, you know, knitting. And uh, <laughs> I read this book in like, what? A week or so because um and what i like um it was recommended on the o magazine channel um on online and Je sarah jessica parker is now affiliated with a publisher called hogarth and she's i guess on there to promote um writers that are not well known and this writer is from trinidad mm. believe it or not um, and the story takes place in Trinidad and it was really good um there was one part when I looked at the reviews on Amazon people were upset about an incident that took part in the story which I can see why um as Americans it'll probably or even any other country might be offensive but in Trinidad with some of the violence we hear about it's it's pretty sordid and so that is right in line with this but it's not bad like it I mean it is bad but it doesn't go into too much detail. It's mm. you, you know. So I recommend it. Oh. Golden Child by Claire Adam. You want to read it? Yeah. Okay. I'm always looking for books. <laughs> You'll read that fast. Really? Okay. And then the next thing, last thing, is this um five year Hobonochi Teco. I got it from my favorite stationery store in LA. Um now I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce it right, so I'll flash it across the screen, Bom Kachain. Um and it's for five years. Look at this thing. <gasps> Look at this oh thing. Oh my God. I love stationery, guys. I love that just looks yummy, that paper. So it's five years. Every for five years, every day, you write um something. Whether it be a quote, how you feel, what happened, you know, whatever. And um, so after five years, you'll have a documentation yeah. of and I'm hoping that I would see progression of my thoughts yeah you know like yeah. how i thought one thing and how i progressed from it to a higher level maybe right so and stuff like this i wish i had of my grandparents right oh great you know stuff right. like this right so i'm into ancestry genealogy too but yeah, that's a whole other story yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a whole other story yeah um but that's it um we're at 48 minutes do you have anything else you want to say no no i'm just I'm gonna continue knitting, knitting. Plan to run to the yarn store after we leave here. After this, so yeah, we gotta wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> we go into our local L um, our LYS. Cheers to you. Yes. We should probably go to Charlotte to baskets of yarn, but I don't know if I have traffic and yeah, coming back is my concern. Yeah, it's out of the Got way. A carpool. Well, probably cheers to you. Anyway, yeah, it's closer. Until next time, guys. Uh, I guess Be in well. April. Yes. yes. And we'll talk to you then. Be well. Bye. Bye.